Okay, welcome to the 15 minute flexibility fix. We're gonna start off with the side bend. I want you to start with your feet together, arms clasped, lock your hands together, interlace your fingers here, index fingers pointing up, and then lock your arms out by straightening your arms, pressing your biceps into your ears. Suck your abdominals in like you're trying to touch your belly button to your spine. And then you're gonna drive your hips one direction and reach your arms the other. Keeping your chest lifted. And then once you get into position, if you feel comfortable, you can add a little pulse. Okay, you're really driving your hips one direction and your arms the other to create a lengthening in the whole side of the torso here. Keep those arms locked out. Try not to allow any space between the arms and the ears with the little pulse. It's the side bend. And then as you transition out of this, come out nice and slow, and you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Hips one direction, reach the arms the other. Get nice and deep into the pose, and then add a little pulse. If you want to, you can add a little subtle rotation to it, either going chin up to the sky a little bit, or chest down towards the floor, just to hit a little bit of a different angle in the side of the torso here. After that, we're gonna come back to center. If you need a little break, you can bring your arms back down to the chest for a second, and then we're gonna come into a back bend. So, you can spread your feet a little bit wider uh, on this one if you want to, about shoulder width apart. And then you're gonna pull your arms back as you drive your hips forward and reach back like you're trying to reach the wall behind you. Here. Really squeeze and contract your glutes and your low back to protect your low back. So tighten this whole area up and really elevate your chest like you're reaching your chest up to the sky as you pull the arms back to open up those shoulders. And then again, if you feel comfortable and you have a healthy low back, once you get into the pose, you can do a little bit of a pulse. After that, we're gonna go right into a forward bend, feet together, come down, you can start by putting your hands on the shins, or if you can reach the floor, come on down to the floor. Relax your head and neck. If you have the flexibility, you can get a grip behind your legs by clasping your hands together. I like to get like an S grip, which is basically interlacing your fingers together like so, okay? Interlace your fingers into an S grip. And then you can give a really good pull with the arms. Like this, you wanna slide your hands down on your legs as far as you can, and then pull with your arms, like you're pulling your head towards your knees, or your shins even. Again, once you get into position, you can add a little pulse if you wanna intensify it. I like to synchronize the, the pulse with the breath. So every time you breathe out, give a little pull on the pulse. Okay, after the forward bend, we're gonna go into the downward dog. So place your hands and feet about shoulder width apart. Come up onto the balls of your feet here, up onto your toes, and really drive away from your hands. So you're gonna like push your chest towards your feet to really open up the shoulders and spine. Look towards uh, beneath, like, like between your knees with your gaze. So you're kind of tucking your chin to your chest, lengthening the back of the neck. Really flex those triceps and push away from the hands. And again, you can add a little pulse here if you want to, to really open up those shoulders. You can go forward and back, and I also like to do a little side to side to open up those lats on the side. 
After the downward dog, we're going to come into the upward dog. You're going to drop to the knees and the tops of the feet here. Hands beneath the shoulders. And then if you have a healthy low back, you can lift the knees off of the floor for a little more pressure here. Really driving the hips forward, squeezing your glutes, lifting the chest up to the sky. Pressing the palms into the floor, shoulders down, looking up. Here, and then again, a little pulse, hips forward, arching back. If you have a healthy low back. If not, you can just stay on your knees here as well. After the upward dog, we're going to come on up to the knees again, and we're going to walk it into a low Indian squat. Here, we're going to step back. <clears throat> Feet about shoulder width apart, and you're just going to let your butt sink down to the floor. Elbows inside of the knees here. Push the knees out with the elbows. I like to interlace the fingers to really spread the webbing of the hands. So you're simultaneously getting a good hand stretch and a hip opener right here. A little rock side to side for the low Indian squat. During the full workout, we're gonna hold each one of these poses for 30 seconds before we transition to the next. Okay, and at any point it feels like it's too intense, just back off of it a little bit and then you can go back into the stretch. Stay within your limitations. After the low Indian squat, we're gonna come into a split. So you're gonna step the feet apart, toes pointing forward, okay, hands on the floor. You can have a block here if you're really tight just to, so you don't have to come as low here get nice and deep relax your head and neck and then again we're just going to do a little pulse synchronizing the pulse and the with the out breath okay you want to try to push the knees back so if the knees are bent at all just use your leg strength to push the knees back and straighten the legs Roll forward slightly just onto the balls of the feet as you exhale and pulse. Walk the feet together, roll it up. Okay, next up we have the lunge. You're gonna take a big step back with one of your legs onto the ball of the back foot. Heel off the ground, ankle nice and straight. Make sure your foot's not twist it all you want that back foot nice and straight hips pointing forward okay again we're going to lock the arms out here pressing the biceps into the ears okay suck the abdominals in keep your torso nice and upright okay right here little pulse make sure your front knee is tracking right over your ankle and not going in front of your toes or that's going to put undue strain on your knees Right here for a pulse. Then we're going to come down into a low lunge. Forearm on the front of the thigh here. Hand on the ground or on a block if you need to. I want you to go on the top of the back foot flat on the floor. And then lift your knee off the floor here. Again, knee, uh, front knee tracking right over the ankle, not going in front of the toes. And then right here for a little pulse. Okay, this is the low lunge with the pulse. After that, we're going to drop the knee to the floor. Here, come back into a lunge position with the arms overhead. This time, I want you to think about driving your hips forward and down as you pull the arms back. So here, hips forward and down. Press the top of the back foot like you're isometrically pressing the back foot into the floor to engage those same hip flexors that we're stretching. Pulling the arms back, chest up, chin off the chest. Good, driving those hips forward. Keep pressing the top of the back foot into the floor, activating those hip flexors. 
Good. Then we're going to come into a front splits. I want you to bring your foot forward as far as you can with your heel on the floor, toes pulled back. Try to straighten your leg by pushing your knee down to the floor. You can walk this back leg back a little bit so you're feeling a stretch in the hamstrings and the hip flexors here. Hands on the floor or on some blocks. Lean forward at the waist like you're reaching your forehead towards the knee. And then once you get into position, add a little pulse. Play with the angles slightly so you can just subtly rotate your hips one direction or the other and hit all those little nooks and crannies in the hamstring. Good, then we're gonna come back up to a standing hamstring stretch. Back foot on the floor angled at a 45 degree, hands on the shin or floor if you have the flexibility, fingertips on the floor. Tuck your chin, reach your forehead towards the knee. Again, slightly pivoting the hips once you're deep into the pose, and then try to hit all the little different angles. Good, bend the leg. Roll it up, and then we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side. Starting off with the lunge. Back ankle straight. Knee tracking the right over the ankle, not going in front of the toes. Locking the arms out by flexing those triceps. Chin off the chest, chest, chest lifted up to the sky. Pull the arms back, open up the shoulders. Suck the abdominals in, reaching the belly button towards the spine. Get nice and low, and pulse it out. Coming into our low lunge, forearm on the front of the thigh, top of the back foot flat on the floor, hand on the floor, knee up, and pulse. Opening up those hip flexors. Play with a couple different angles. Into a low lunge, back knee comes down onto the floor, Driving the hips forward and down, pulling the arms back. Pressing the top of the back foot into the floor. A little isometric contraction. Playing with the different angles. Opening up those hips. Into the front splits. Walking the front foot forward. Toes up. Pressing the knee down. Flex your thigh, so when, it, when you engage one muscle group, in this case the quadricep in the front of the thigh, the hamstring in the back, its opposing muscle group, has a more of a tendency to release. So the more you can isometrically flex and squeeze the quadricep, it'll help to release the hamstring. Get in the position and pulse. Hit all the different angles. Good, walk it back on up. Back foot flat on the floor. Angle at a 45. Come on down for a standing hamstring stretch. Fingertips on the floor or on blocks. Good, okay. Right from there, we're gonna go into a, a piriformis stretch. So, so the piriformis stretch is a, one for the glutes, basically. It's an external rotator of the hip. It helps turn the hips out. And this is what really gets tight in a lot of people with sciatic pain. So what it attaches back here in the glutes, right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come on down to the floor after the standing hamstring stretch, and you're gonna bring one leg forward here Trying to eventually get it to like a 90-ish degree angle here, okay? But at first, you might have to pull your heel back towards your crotch a little bit here to make it doable, okay? 
And then you're gonna go top of the back foot flat so you can really square those hips up. Walk your foot as far forward as you can here, okay? And then once you get your hips squared up, then you're just gonna come on down to the forearms or the hands here and just pulse it out. And then we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. So we'll switch legs, other leg comes forward. Try to make good contact with the whole length of your, like your shin and your calf on the floor here. So it's not just all on one side or the other. You're evenly distributed between the whole weight on that lower leg to help protect the knee joint, okay? So get your hips squared up, top of the back foot flat on the floor here. Come on down as low as comfortable, all right? I like to come onto the hands, then I can really let my uh, body weight sink into it for a little deeper stretch. Hitting all the different angles. Okay, good. After that, we're gonna come in to rock the baby. So, one leg's gonna be tucked, and then we're gonna get a grip on the other foot. If you're really tight at first in the hips, you might need to start with something like this, just grabbing your foot and your knee and pulling with your arm. The idea is to try to get your, your calf muscle here towards your chest, okay? So start here, work on lifting your chest up, getting your posture nice and straight, and then if you can, gradually start to feed your foot into the crook of your elbow here. I like to clasp my hands, either interlace the fingers, or get an S grip here and rock the baby, okay? Give an even pull with both of the arms. So you're pulling evenly on the knee and the foot, and then keep working on lifting that chest up, sitting up nice and tall, really opening up that hips and strengthening up those postural muscles. After you're done with one side, we'll switch. Tuck, get a grip, start here. As you get more flexible, start weaving that foot into the elbow. Sit up nice and tall. And breathe. And rock. Good. After rock the baby, we're going to do a seated hamstring stretch by tucking one foot into the inner thigh, outstretching the other. You can use a towel around your foot or an exercise band if you want to give a little pull with your arms. I like to interlace my, my hands underneath my calf like this. You want to think about, again, contracting your thigh. So push your knee down into the floor and flex your quadricep muscle as if you're lifting your heel up off the floor. If you can lift your heel off the floor, you know you're really engaging those thigh muscles, okay? Slide your hands as far forward underneath your calf as you can. Press your knee down until your heel lifts up, or at least attempt to, and then bend your elbows, and you're gonna use your arm strength and your core strength. Pull forward with your abdominals like you're pulling your belly down to your thigh. So use that strength to increase the stretch. Get in position and then add a little pulse and pull. Reaching your forehead towards the knee. And if you can get it to the knee, then start working towards getting it towards the floor. Keep flexing that thigh, lifting the heel off the floor. Hit all the different angles. Just a little subtle movement of the torso, side to side, will really hit all those low back muscles really good. Okay, and then we'll switch and do the same thing on the other side. Tuck one foot in, extend the other, get a grip, heel up the floor, flex the thigh, pull with the arms.
Okay, next up we're gonna go into a bridge. So you're gonna plant the hands on the floor, feet on the floor, raising the hips up and the head back. Hands are beneath the shoulders, feet are beneath the knees. And you're gonna really drive your hips up to the sky Press your palms into the floor, driving your shoulders down and back. Okay, once you get as, as high as you can into the position, I like to do a little rock side to side to really open up those shoulders. Hitting all those different angles. For the bridge. After the bridge, we're gonna come into a seated forward bend Feet together, again, get a grip, cut the hands underneath the legs. Get a good enough grip with those hands that you can pull with the arms. Slide them forward, try to lift the heels off the floor, or at least attempt to, by flexing those thighs, pressing the knees down. Pulling with the arms, pulling with your abs, using that strength to increase the stretch. Okay, home stretch, no pun intended. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a hug a leg. Clasp your fingers, get a grip on your shin, and you're going to pull your knee towards your shoulder. Let the leg come out just a little bit before you pull it up as opposed to coming straight up here. So just let it track out a little bit and then pull it up towards the shoulder. Pulling with the arms, okay? You can lay your head back here and tuck your chin if you want to, or keep it up if you wanna work your neck muscles a little bit up to you. I like to hit all those different angles, bringing the knee in or out a little bit. After a hug a leg, we're gonna go into a hamstring stretch you're gonna straighten the leg. Again, you can also use, wrap a towel around your foot to help pull with your arms on this one or an exercise band. What I like to do is just clasp my uh, fingers here behind my leg and really slide the hands up as far as you can on your leg. I want you to straighten your leg by flexing your thigh. Again, when you flex one muscle group, the opposing muscle group, in this case the hamstring, has more of a tendency to relax. And then I'm gonna pull my toes back towards me, activating my shin muscle, my anterior tibialis. That's gonna help release the calf muscles and the soleus muscles in the back. Sliding those hands up nice and high, flexing the thigh, pulling with the arms, reaching my forehead towards the knee, get as deep into position as you can, flex that thigh nice and hard, and then pulse. Pulse and pull, like you're pulling your forehead towards the knee. And then we'll repeat the same thing on the other side. Hug the leg, let it track outside a little bit, and then pull the knee to the shoulder. Hitting all those different angles. Right into the hamstring stretch. Get a grip, pull the toes back, flex the thigh. Pull and pulse. Okay, last one, quadriceps stretch. Flexing, uh, getting those, some flexibility in those thighs here. So what we're gonna do, I like to pull my calf muscles out a little bit. So you're gonna sit right between your feet and ankles right here, okay? If you have really big calves, you just need to kind of pull them out so that you can come down here. Keep your knees pointed nice and straight, okay? And then be really, really gentle on your knees if you have any pre-existing knee injuries. And just start right here, okay? And then I would just work on driving the hips up. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna activate your glutes and raise those hips up, head back, okay? As you get more flexible, you can come on down to the forearms. Here again, driving the hips forward and up, doing a little pelvic tilt. That'll intensify the stretch in those quadriceps. If you're real flexible, you can come on down to the back. 
I like to come onto the back of my head for a little bridge, and then I can add a little pulse to it here. Good, come on up with control. And always finish off with just a little corpse pose. Coming down, letting the feet spread apart a little bit, palms up, and relax. Feel how good it feels to have that energy and chi flowing in the body. Set your positive intention for the day. Namaste. Okay, start off nice and slow. Be gentle. Some of these can be a little extreme if you're just starting off. So start nice and easy. Go at your own pace and uh, just get a little bit more flexible every day. Remember, consistency is the key. Okay, just be consistent. And before you know it, you're going to be super flexible. Okay, let's get this party started. Side bend, stand with your feet together, clasp your hands, drive your hips to the side, reach your arms the opposing direction, chin off the chest, chest up to the sky, lock your arms out, press your biceps into the ears. Good, coming back to center, other side. Drive your hips one direction, reach your arms the opposing direction. Flex those triceps, lock your arms out. Drive your hips, reach your arms and pulse it out. Good, back to center, feet apart, shoulder width, back bend. Squeeze your glutes and low back. Lift your chest up to the sky. Drive your hips forward. Pull your arms back, look back. Open up that chest. Good, forward bend, feet together, bend at the waist. Straighten your legs, push your knees back, flex your thighs, pull with your arms, pull with your abs, tuck your chin, rock your weight slightly forward onto the balls of the feet as you push the knees back. Good, downward dog, step back, hands and feet, shoulder width apart. Tuck your chin to your chest, gaze back between your knees. Open up those shoulders, push your knees back. Hit all the different angles. Good, upward facing dog, tops of the feet flat, knees off the floor, hands beneath the shoulders, chest up to the sky, squeeze your glutes, tighten your low back, chest up, look up, open up those abs. Good, step it into a low Indian squat, feet apart, elbows within, inside the knees, rock those hips side to side. Open up those hips. Good, splits, step the feet apart, toes pointing forward. Press the knees back, straighten the legs. Bend at the waist, pull with your abs. 
and pulls it out. Stretch out those legs. Good, walk the feet together, roll it up. Right into a lunge. Big step back onto the ball of the back foot. Ankle nice and straight. Front knee tracking right over the ankle, not going in front of the toes. Lock your arms out. Press the biceps into the ears. Tight grip with the palms. Chin off the chest. Chest up to the sky. Get nice and low in those legs. Good. Coming down into a low lunge. Top of the back foot on the floor. Knee off the floor. Front knee tracking right over the ankle. Hit all the different angles. Open up those hip flexors. Good, lunge, pull the arms back. Top of the back foot still pressing into the floor. Back knee on the floor. Driving your hips forward and down, arms back. Open up those hips and shoulders. Good, right into a front splits. Heel on the floor, pull your toes back. Straighten your leg, push your knee down, flex your thigh. Engage your abdominals, pull your belly down to the thigh. Forehead reaching towards the knee. Hitting all the different angles. Good, step it up and do a hamstring stretch. Standing hamstring stretch. Back foot angled at a 45 degree, flat on the floor. Straighten your legs. Pull with your abs. Good, roll it up. Switch sides, lunge. Big step back onto the ball of the back foot. Heel up, ankle nice and straight. Front knee tracking right over the ankle. Suck your abdominals in like you're trying to touch your belly button to your spine. Lock your arms out. Arms back. Open up those shoulders. Chest up to the sky. Pulse it out. Good. Low lunge. Top of the back foot on the floor. Knee off the floor. Driving the hip forward. Hitting all those nooks and crannies. Switch up the angles. Good, back knee on the floor. Pull the arms back. Drive the hips forward and down. Chest up, arms back. Keep pressing the top of the back foot into the floor. Open up those hip flexors. Reach. Good, front splits. Heel on the floor, pull the toes back. Straighten your leg, flex your thigh. Bend at the waist, pull with your abdominals. Slightly pivoting your hips side to side. Hit all those different angles. Good. Step it on up into a standing hamstring stretch. Back foot flat on the floor at a 45 degree angle. Straighten your legs. Flex your thigh. 
pull with your abdominals, pulling your belly down to the thigh, forehead to the knee. Stretch out those hammies. Good, coming down into the floor. Piriformis glute stretch. Scoot your hips back. Make good, even contact with your shin on the floor. Stretch out those glutes. Good, switching sides. Shin on the floor. Scoot your hips back. Bend at the waist. Pulse it out. Good, coming in to rock the baby. Tuck your bottom leg, get a grip. Even pull with the arms. Sit up nice and tall, back straight. Work those postural muscles. Rock the baby. Pull your calf to the chest. And switch. Other side. Get a grip. Rock it out. Sit up nice and tall. Keep pulling with the arms. Good. Seated hamstring stretch. Get a grip underneath your calf with your hands. Bend your elbows, pull with your arms. Straighten your leg as if you're trying to lift your heel off the floor. Press your knee down. Pull with your arms, pull with your abs. Bend all the different angles. switch other side get a grip straighten the leg press the knee down pull the toes back bend your elbows pull with your arms pull with your abs pulse it out every exhale getting a little bit lower a little deeper keeping these bodies fit and flexible Good, coming into a bridge. Plant your hands and feet on the floor. Lift your hips up, head back. Press your palms into the floor, shoulders down and back. Chest up to the sky. Little rock side to side, open up those shoulders. Good, seated forward bend. Straighten the legs, flex the thighs, press the knees down. Lift the heels up, toes back. Bend your elbows, pull with your arms, pull with your abs. Exhale and pulse it out. Good, lay back, hug a leg. Clasp your fingers around your shin. Pull your knee to your shoulder. Stretch out those hips. Bend your elbows and pull with your biceps. Hit all the different angles. Good, hamstring stretch. Clasp your hands behind your leg. Straighten your leg, flex your thigh. Pull your toes back. Kick your heel up to the sky. 
Bend your elbows and pull with your arms, reaching your forehead towards the knee. Keep straightening the leg. Good, switching sides. Hug a leg. Clasp the hands. Get a grip. Pull with the arms. Pull on the shoulder towards the knee. Engage those biceps. Pull with your guns. Good, coming into a hamstring stretch. Straighten the leg. Kick the heel up to the sky, flex the thigh. Bend the elbows, pull with the arms. Keep straightening your leg. Pulling with those arms. Get these bodies loose. Good, coming up into a quadricep stretch. Sit your butt between your ankles, lean back, drive your hips forward, stretching out the front of those thighs. Keep driving the hips up to the sky. Strong, fit, flexible bodies. Good. Come on down. Corpse pose. Lay back. Palms up. Relax. Set your positive intention for the day. Namaste.